Discovery team, also known as the core team, it's really three key people. The product owner, officially responsible for the functionality, what the product does. The lead designer, which is usually an interaction designer, responsible for the usability of the product. And the lead developer, responsible for the feasibility. Uh, is it possible to do what you'd like to do? The three of them together are working to identify the minimum viable product, which is really the smallest possible product that people will choose to buy, can figure out how to use, and you can deliver it when you need it. Now, those three people work together very closely. The product manager and the designer are typically, co uh, typically side by side full time. The lead developer, it's more consulting, it's part time, because their regular day job, of course, is to write software. Now, even though officially the product owner is responsible for functionality, the designer on usability, and the engineer on feasibility, the little secret in software teams is that um, truth is, usually the best innovations actually come from the lead developer. Uh, and the reason for that is that the lead developer typically knows what's possible better than anyone else. So while officially you all have those responsibility, really what's going on is all three of you are trying to identify that minimum viable product. Uh, one last point in terms of uh, location, it's but at all humanly possible you want to keep those three co-located right in the same location um, and uh, if you have to have somebody remote have that um, uh, the product manager and the designer should absolutely be sitting side by side.